Hi, I'm Bob Tabor with LearnVisualStudio.net. In this lesson, we'll make our app bar more than just for show by adding photo capture capability. In fact, in order to enable your app to access the webcam to take a photo, it's really just one or two lines of code. The only real complexity is where you're going to save it and display it, or in our case, how you're going to actually share it. Since we've done that before, it should, should make some sense, but let's go ahead and get started. We're in lap number four app bars and media capture in exercise two add photo capture and so as you can see uh, we're going to modify the code to allow the user to take a photo and to begin we're going to import some namespaces that we need windows.media.capture and windows.storage makes sense we're going to capture uh, an image and then store it somewhere so i would expect classes that are used for that purpose to be in those namespaces all right, next up, we're going to add the following field to the items detail page. All right, so we're going to create a private member called underscore photo of type storage file, which is in the windows.storage.storage file. It represents a file. Okay, great. And you can see that it has associated capabilities, pictures, library, videos, library, music, library, documents, library. So it'll be interesting to see how this plays into it. All right, then what we want to do is find the on capture photo method that you added in the previous exercise. Got it. We know where that's at. And then what we want to do is modify that method to look like this. Be sure to add the async keyword. Remember, because we talked about if you're going to have the await keyword, we have to decorate the method with the async uh, modifier. So let's go ahead and just capture this whole thing and we're going to replace the existing on capture photo and so the interesting bits are here the ca camera capture ui create a new camera capture ui object associated capabilities webcam and microphone okay that's interesting and so then capture file async uh, is awaited so we're going to expect back a uh, a task of type storage file okay and then if the file's not null then we're going to show the share UI great all right let's see what else we need to do here replace the on data requested method which you added to the items detail page in the previous lab with the one below these changes are needed to share a recipe if photo is null or share a photo if it's not null okay so either we're sharing a recipe or we're sharing a photo that we're taking of a recipe so we're gonna just go ahead and blow away that on data requested work that we've done previously here and we're gonna paste in the new version and so you can see that check if the photo that we've added here after it's been taken is not null then we're gonna go ahead and we're going to add that to the share UI. Otherwise, we will perform the code that we already had in from a previous lab, which gives us the ingredients, the directions, and the photo from our, uh, from our project, from our app, okay? All right, let's see what else we need here. Okay, so the next step is to run the app, but this is merely to show that it won't work until we set the package.appx manifest capabilities to request permission for use of the user's webcam. So let's go ahead and open up the package.appx manifest designer. Now we'll flip over to the capabilities tab and modify the capabilities so that our app will ask Windows 8 for permission from the user to use the webcam. Okay, so now that we've done all that, let's go ahead and run the app. And we're going to right click, open up the brag, select photo. And it asks, can Contoso Cookbook use your webcam? Yes, allow it. And you can click anywhere inside here. And now we've got a crazy picture. And we're gonna say, let's crop it. And just, um, hmm. That's scary. <laughs> All right, and we'll click OK. And we can share it out then uh, out with the share uh, target app, uh, for example. Okay. 
All right, there we go. That's about the craziest thing I've seen in quite some time. All right, so now let's go back to the instructions of, uh, of our lab here. All right, so um, it says, so when the share UI appears, select a share target and confirm that the photo you just captured, we're good there. Okay, so you can't see me right now, and that's probably a good thing. I may have scared you off after that picture, but uh, we'll pick it back up in the next lesson where we're going to add video. Uh-oh, maybe I'll get my cat or somebody to help me out. All right, we'll see you then. Thank you. Mm -hmm.